Senior Biden administration officials arrived in Armenia yesterday amid an exodus of thousands of ethnic Armenians from the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh. Meanwhile, at least 20 people died and nearly 300 others were wounded by an explosion at a crowded gas station yesterday. The blast came as thousands of people attempted to flee across the border into Armenia. According to the Associated Press, more than 1,300 people have left the region since Azerbaijan seized the, the disputed territory last week. The U.S. has called on Azerbaijan to protect civilians and let in aid. We are calling on Azerbaijan to maintain the ceasefire and take concrete steps to protect the rights of civilians in Nagorno-Karabakh. President Aliyev has promised to guarantee the rights of ethnic Armenians. Azerbaijan must live up to that promise. So I want to bring in Matthew Droin now. He's a visiting fellow at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, an American think tank based in Washington. Uh, Matthew, thanks for joining us. You know, this dispute has been going on for decades now, 30 years now. Can you shed some light on the timing? Why is all of this unfolding now? Well, as you rightly said, it's the the latest and perhaps the last episode of uh, tensions and even wars that have been going on for years uh, after the, the collapse of the Soviet Union. There have been actually two wars, one that ended in 1994 with an Armenian uh, victory over Azerbaijan for the control of its uh, small enclave Nagorno-Karabakh, and the latest in 2020 with a, an Azerbaijan victory over Armenia. And so this episode, it's, let's say, the, the conclusion of the uh, of the second war, uh, where Azerbaijan is willing to regain the full control. And perhaps why is it happening now? It's because this is part of a greater game, regional great game with regional powers involved, and mainly Russia and Turkey. Um, and Turkey, which is the main backer of uh, Azerbaijan, and Azerbaijan itself, have probably felt that Russia being absorbed by the war in Ukraine, uh, there was a window here to attack and, and finalize their ambition to regain control of this territory. Mm. Okay, so take us back in time, but we can't do a whole history lesson. But kind of give us, a, remind people how this area ended up this way, how we have this little island of land surrounded by Armenia, um, that is a disputed territory? Uh, it's it's an heritage, in fact, of uh, uh, Joseph Stalin. It, it goes back to, to USSR history in the 1920s. Uh, and in fact, so Nagorno-Karabakh is a predominantly Armenian uh, region, mm -hmm. but it was, uh, let's say, offered uh, to Azerbaijan in a kind of divide and rule uh, ambition by Stalin at, at the time. And so, uh, so, so these conflicts have been. Uh, there was an hold uh, during the the USSR, but then, of course, when the the USSR collapsed and uh, and these countries gained independence, then the the situation of uh, this small enclave, Armenian enclave in Azerbaijan territory, was not solved, and this was the. Um, the trigger for the first war, which actually was the, the fiercest. Uh, it, it lasted six years, uh, uh, 30,000 deaths, uh, uh, around 600,000 uh, displaced. So th this was the... the and, and since then, we have uh, witnessed simmering tensions uh, and, and again now we is, is with a new eruption of, of violence, unfortunately. Um, and I sort of misspoke. I meant a little island of land surrounded by Azerbaijan, not Armenia. Um, that being said, you know, we are hearing some disturbing reports coming out of the region. Armenia's prime minister is warning of ethnic cleansing. I know Azerbaijan says that is absolutely not the case at all. Do, do we have an idea of what actually is happening there? And what has Azerbaijan's response been to these claims of ethnic cleansing? Yes, well, you, you rightly pointed out the two versions of, of the fact. The reality is that we have, uh, as you mentioned, around 10 to 15,000 ethnic Armenians who already left uh, the enclave uh, to go to uh, Armenia proper. Um, and these numbers, it's actually 10% of the of the population of, uh, of Nagorno-Karabakh. And frankly, it's hard to see what are the options for the Armenians uh, uh, in in the future state of Azerbaijan, given the uh, deeply entrenched uh, 
hatred between the between Azer, Azerbaijan Azeris and and Armenians. Yeah. So it's hard to tell if we can consider it as eth ethnic cleansing uh, at the time. But but frankly, of course, uh, this is a very disturbing situation for ethnic Armenians. Yeah, uh, Matthew, uh, thank you very much. Most welcome.